Hey guys, just wanted to go over a new tool I just picked up. Uh, it's not new to the market or anything like that. I think it's been out for a couple of years at least. So, something I just finally picked up though. Um, I do a lot of fishing. So, what I use on my normal daily fishing is I have my Hemostats or Hela, whatever the hell they're called. Um, these are made by Rapala. Obviously, for taking hooks out of fish's mouth. Um, and then they also got kind of got a little scissors built in there. Well, these things are getting beat up to hell, and they're a pain in the ass to hold on to in the boat or out ice fishing. Seem to always be dropping them. So I carried those, and I would carry my Gerber. Uh, I think this is a Sport 400. I've had this thing for about seven years now. So I would have these two tools on me at all times when I was fishing because this thing's got little scissors in it which is a lot nicer for cutting the fishing line and then of course it's got your flat blade or with the serrations on it you know cutting up fish or uh, worms or cutting the heads off minnows to use those for jigging or what have you well kinda getting sick of carrying two of those things around so I decided to finally go out and get this it's the uh, Gerber Flick Fish um, which is basically kinda the same design is this this one here um, but you can see it's got the long needle nose pliers on it so this basically chucks those right out the window um, what else the knife has on it first I'm just going to close it up and uh, show you everything's accessible from the outside which is nice you don't have to actually open the tool up um, you got a flat edge blade on it um, this uses their safety lock system here, so you just pull down and that will release the blade. Other side, you have a file, regular file on one side, and on the other side is a tungsten carbide sprayed file. Um, it's quite smooth, but uh, really tough material, and it's got this groove in it for sharpening your hooks, uh, which is unbelievably handy, especially when you're fishing uh, northern musky or walleye, something that's going to actually tear your hooks up. Um, I like that design about it. It's got a Phillips screwdriver. These things are actually kind of hard to get out, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But it's got a can opener and a little tiny Phillips screwdriver, which might come in handy for uh, replacing treble hooks like on a Rappler or something like that. It's got that on that side. Other side, you have a full serrated blade, um, which obviously could come in handy and on this side here you got a nice big set of scissors which they rate at uh, cut, being able to cut a 150 pound braided line um, I got a piece of 550 cord here not too much of a problem so really nice scissors probably my favorite feature about this whole thing minus the uh, needle nose player aspect of it um, you also have a. See if I can get this thing out. See, that's the only thing I don't like about these inside tools. You have to take out one of the big blades to get them. Doesn't help. I'm trying to look through a viewfinder. A um, couple flat blades with a bottle opener. In case you're not catching some bass, you got to catch some bottle bass. That'll come in handy, no doubt. Um, Flicks open one hand, real easy. So if you got the other hand tied up, you know, holding a fish, you can see people are like, "Oh, you know, those don't close all the way." Well, it's true. When you first flick them open, they don't close all the way. You actually have to open them up all the way. It engages the head, and then you're able to uh, close up the players all the way. So I don't know if I like that feature of them necessarily. You got three different size crimpers there. You've got a hook cutter built into the players on the bottom here um, otherwise it's pretty standard solid solid multi-tool um, I'm not the biggest fan of Gerber tools to say the least or at least their knives this is my my first good knife that I ever bought this is a Gerber pair frame uh, the blade on this thing sucks it dulls out easy um, I'm not sure what model this is. I actually found this knife. Steel on it sucks. The blade's always getting dull. But I can say I've had this one for seven, eight years now. 
I've put this thing through hell and back. I've welded on it. You can see my welding spots. I've pried on it. I've twisted it. I've beat the hell out of this multi-tool and it has yet to fail me. So um, that's the reason why I decided to get this just because I'm hoping that it has the same quality as this guy. Does. Oh, there it goes. Um, sheath on it's really nice. Ballistic nylon sheath. Belt loop pretty standard. The tool closed up, goes in, the tip does stick out a bit, which I don't mind because that's just going to prevent a hole from getting formed in the in the sheath. But the nice part about that is that I can leave this open and it sticks through the bottom. So when I'm out fishing, I don't have to mess around with trying to open my multi-tool because I tell you what, flicking that thing, you have no idea how many times I almost lost this thing in the water, flicking it open and having it slide out of my hands with your hands being all full of fish slime or whatever. So that aspect of the sheath is really nice. Um, so far really happy with it. I haven't even got to stick this thing into a fish's mouth yet, but I can tell you uh, it's going to be a good addition to the boat and it's pretty much going to knock out any other tools that are in my toolbox. Um, this baby's pretty much got it all. So. If you're a big fisherman or you're into fishing at all, I would definitely recommend going with this multi-tool. Closes up nice. Um, yeah, not a lot bad to say about it, except for that that opening part where you have to engage it all the way to, or open it up all the way to engage it, but not a big deal. I can deal with it, it's just something to get used to. So, Gerber Flick Fish. Thanks guys, we'll talk to you later.